All right, so as promised, I did get the other tablet that I had mentioned in my previous video when I was talking about the uh, Kindle Fire here. <clears throat> and this did arrive on Black Friday at the end of Black Friday, which I thought was ironic. But I wanted to do just a quick comparison, as I mentioned, between the Kindle Fire, which you can buy now for uh, about $50, well, exactly $50, and in a sub $50 Android tablet. And that's what this one is. Um, it's a Danco Tech. Now, I ordered this and it was delivered and at this very second, it's not currently available for sale, but there are many other Android tablets in its price range. This one costs about $40 um, to, to purchase. And there's many in this, um, uh, in this price range. Now, <clears throat> with these tablets, um, looking at the specs, they actually both have quad-core processors. They have similar amounts of storage. They both have 8 gigs of storage. Um, and they have similar... Uh, this one has a fairly low-resolution camera, but I think they're very similar. I think they're both 2-megapixel uh, cameras um, on the rear or the front. Um, cameras on a tablet don't mean much to me. Uh, I don't use my tablet to take pictures. I do use my phone, so it matters more on my phone, but on a tablet, I don't I don't take pictures on my tablet or record video. Um, what I do do is I surf the internet, and I play a few games, and I uh, watch some videos, listen to um, audio on it, and that's what's important to me. Um, so as, as far as performance between the two, um, they're really, well, they're really similar performance-wise. Um, I've played games on both of them, and they both perform. Sorry, they keep turning off. Um, they both perform very similarly um, in that regards. The big difference, and it may not come out so well in this video. Um, main difference is the screen, the battery. And the overall build quality, if you watch my other video for the Amazon, the overall build quality of this tablet is is pretty good. Um, it feels solid. I mean, it's obviously no $300 um, iPad. And I, I have my iPad mini here. Um, this is an older generation iPad mini. I, as you can tell, it's well used. I use it nearly every day. Um, it's in... The screen on this is, is gorgeous. I mean, it, it's an iPad. It, it has a beautiful uh, screen. Um, but the thing that is my favorite about this, um, I'm no Apple fanboy at all, but I unplugged it this morning before leaving for work. And it, I'm now home, and it's now, I left for work this morning around 5.30, and it is now 8 o'clock. So it's been unplugged, sitting there all day long, and it's at 100% battery. I did the same with the Dan Cook. And come on, wake up. And it is at 72% battery. I literally have done nothing with this um, device all day. Sorry for the for the terrible glare. I've done the, nothing with this at all. It is literally just sat next to my bedside all day long. And it's at 72% battery. Now the Amazon, I did have charging. I had left it at work and I had it charging at work. But it too is at 97%. And I've done nothing with it. So, But I did notice I left this one at work over the long holiday weekend. And it wasn't fully charged. Um, it was charged up to like 80-90% before I left. And... Um, when I got to work this morning, it was, um, I think around 50, 55%, something like that. So this would definitely hold your battery charge longer. The battery life on this is pitiful. The other thing that this is lacking is the screen resolution. Um, or not even the resolution. I think the resolution between this and this are actually quite similar. It's the overall screen, screen quality that is lacking. Um... To view it, you almost have to hold it vertical and look down on it. Because if you look straight on or you look under, it just completely becomes unreadable. And the only way it is readable 
um, by looking down on it. The Kindle Fire does not suffer from that. Um, it actually has a very nice screen. It's not a very high resolution screen, but again, for $50, I'm not looking for high resolution. I'm looking for something that works and that I can use. And so I can be laying in bed, I can be sitting in a chair, um, walking around the house, and it, it washes out a little bit, but nothing like the uh, Dan Kotek does. Um, this, and even just using this, um, it's very hard on my eyes. Um, it's overly glossy. Um, over overly reflective and just the the quality of the screen is so poor it actually hurts my eyes using it and of course you have the iPad which is just a stunning screen if you haven't used an iPad which I think at this point most people have at least touched an iPad before um, and this is an even older one this one's at least three years old now, four years old now. Um, so it's not even the latest and greatest gen. It's just one that I've had. Um, and like I said, I don't do a whole, whole lot on it, but I do use it just about every day. And so um, it gets good use for the things I use it on. Um, so the other thing, the overall build quality on this, around the edge, they're sharp plastic. Um, you have places like here. Sorry, it's not showing up very well there um, where you can actually see where the blue the plastic is actually like a painted plastic and so underneath it's actually white and so everywhere where there was a little bit of sharp I just ran my finger on to kind of tone it down so it didn't cut me it actually rubbed off the blue paint and is now white underneath so this blue is not going to last very long where the black of the fire tablet should last because it's black all the way through and the black is uninspiring um you know just like the ipad it's just black where this is aluminum and this is plastic um i like the blue i like things that are brightly colored i'm a i like brightly colored um gizmos uh my uh, my phone is blue as well so i thought oh it'd be nice to have something that you know matched um, but this, this color will not last. So the build quality of this device is poor, uh, at best. Um, battery life stinks, screen stinks, and build quality is not the best. Um, now a couple things with, uh, the fire. One, one big thing, uh, is this. Every time you unlock the screen, it's an advertisement. Now, you pay $50 for the tablet. And then you have to pay fifteen more dollars to un to remove the ads. Uh, now, with that being said, this is an Android operating system, and it's very easy to break into Android systems, especially if somebody else has done all the work. And I'm not going to post links to the videos because it does ruin or excuse me, it does uh, break your warranty as well as have the possibility of bricking your device but it's possible to completely unlock this device, take it out of the um, Amazon ecosystem, or just remove those annoying ads. Um, obviously, I cannot condone that, though I probably will be doing that myself, just to give it a go. I'm not gonna record a video of that. There's some really good ones online if you're interested um, that I may link to in the description below. But for fifty dollars, um, don't spend your money on a Chinese tablet um, when this one's available. If you can deal with the ads and you can deal with the ecosystem, um, get it. If you're not technically um, savvy, this is, and you don't like the ecosystem, you may want to avoid this one just because. Um, or if you are a diehard Amazon and everything you have is in the Amazon environment and you're willing to pay the extra $15 to get rid of the ads, I mean, go for it. It, it definitely is a worthwhile tablet. Um, and I definitely think that it, you know, you would not be amiss to spend your $50 on this device. Whereas um, this device, I don't think it's worth the shipping to send it back and return it. So I'll probably just give it to my kids and let them uh, play with it until it breaks. 
uh, which I think would, wouldn't be very long even if it was me playing with it, um, just because it's not a very well-built device. Um, this one should last a nice long time and uh, should give people... Uh, you know, what, what you expect out of a $50 tablet. You know, it's not going to be anything amazing as far as overall specs. But if you read books, if you surf the web, check your email, things like that, I think this one would be a definitely worth your, your time and your money. And if you have any questions about either of the, these devices, if you're interested in buying either of the devices or the uh, iPad, uh, let me know. Uh, down in the description below I'll include links to um, again this one at the time I'm recording this is not currently available but I'll put a link to sub $50 uh, Android tablets if you're interested um, I'll put a link to the fire as well as to iPads um, I was given this iPad I did not spend my money on it it's an amazing device but the price for it is hard to swallow um, I think they're still up over $300 for an iPad mini um, for most configurations. Um, and that, that's a lot of money. And the problem I have with this device, and the reason why I'm looking at other tablets, and I didn't mention that, um, is this only has 16 gigs. And I can't even begin to put all my audiobooks or my music library or um, uh, even pictures or things like that. I run out of space very quickly on the device because you know, by the time Apple has all their updates, um, updating to the most recent version of iOS has just taken a huge chunk of memory. I've even wiped it and, and set it back up again, and I've just lost a ton of storage space with the most recent version of iOS. Um, I'm just running out of space on it, whereas both the Kindle Fire and the Dan Kotek have expansion slots and so I can load these up with audiobooks this is what I really do uh, majority of is I listen to a lot of audiobooks um, I have an audible account as well as um, uh, audiobooks that I've, I've purchased um, and you know either purchased the CDs and ripped to my computer or, or have purchased in other ways um, that I want to be able to listen to um, on my device be able to carry it around with me. Um, anyways, uh, again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask below. Thank you for watching.